Now I have the honor to invite our keynote speaker, Professor Ole Gustafsson. Ambassador, Excellencies, distinguished guests, fellow architects and friends. It's an honor to be here and I'm really looking forward to this evening and share this uh, lecture with you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to, to give you all uh, the advices for being a winning team but I will give you some. Um, I will start with, with uh, Sir Winston Churchill because he tried to uh, describe success. And I think it's good because it suits Snohetta quite well. Because success is defined as going from failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm. And I think enthusiasm as a drive for success is something to remember. I would also like to share with you another quote from another famous person um, which describes the connections as the quality itself. You know, and that is the connection between the, the, the different types of qualities if the connection is not of, of the highest quality, it doesn't help. So he says that, you know, it's, you can be a world champion on one side and a world champion on the other side. If you can't cooperate, there's no chance you are going to win. So the quality per se lies in the connection, how you cooperate. So you need to learn the skills of cooperation. And um, I have to thank the opening remarks for also talking about this. Describing Snehetta, uh, I could have uh, two lectures, maybe four lectures, maybe ten lectures and still go on. But very simply, it could be described in three words. Most important, of course, is dedicated people. People is key to do anything. You know, Snoheta is just a name. Uh, the company is the people. And we also have, through the last 20 years, uh, relied on advanced technology. Without the advanced technology, I don't think any of the projects made by Snoheta was made possible. And the other and third um, description of the company would be the workshops. I think to develop projects within the company, together with the consultants, to go, together with the client, then you need uh, to make visual and uh, physical things to discuss. So the workshop, both the analog and the digital, is key to this company. Snoheta was established a uh, very long time ago, my perspective, in 1989 by winning a competition. This is a company that wins competition. Uh, we have a winning I image, but we lose more than we win. And that's another lesson. You have to cope with loss, you know, because you will not win them all. Uh, this is a picture where Oslo and Manhattan look the same. Uh, it doesn't, but on this picture it does. So the two main offices are in Oslo and in New York, but we also have offices spread around the world, um, but still two main offices. Um, it's just for the last five to ten years that we have started offices around because presence is so important to be at a place is so important. Um, and uh, before this, Snoheta was a hit and run company. 
it meant that we came to do the project and we left. So we had a project office, but we didn't establish anything. Another thing to remember is that this is ordinary people. There's nothing special about the people in Snohetta. It's you and I. It's you and me. It's everyone. And uh, they look like this. Not all of them, but most of them look like this. And it's, it's a worldwide brand. It uh, consists of international members of, of the staff. It's multidisciplinary and it's a project organization. Um, and I sometimes try to say that, you know, in the beginning we looked for the most skilled people. After some time we understood that we needed people with personality that suited the way we worked. So we were actually focusing on the personality, the behavior, and then the skills and the competence of the people. Uh, because we understood quite early on that architecture is you know, a group work. It's nothing you do alone. So it's three key uh, phases of, of, of this. And uh, maybe the difficult, the most difficult part is to find the good people and even attract them. You know, because good people, they know that they have chances many places and then to attract them to Oslo. I don't know if any, any of you have been there. I know a few that has been there. Uh, but it's outside sort of the, the central of the world. Um, so to get them to Oslo is one thing. And, you know, to get them is one thing. To develop them is another thing. And to keep them is a third thing. To keep the talented people because a lot of confidence will make them think that they have chances other places, so you need to do uh, effort to keep the good people in the office. This is a picture that represents diversity and personal diversity. Diversity comes in many colors and, and shapes and orders. Uh, but since the, the company was established by more or less by coincidence by people from several places of, of Europe, um, the company has always been international and it was established also by landscape architects and architects and later on interior architects, furniture designers, graphical designers and so on. So, so it's a really multidisciplinary office with a lot of, of different kinds and we have been very aware of this because it's male and female, it's young and old, it's uh, different uh, nationalities and it's different uh, uh, stories and, and this makes the good mix for our company. And working in Snöheta means that you will work in the same room, everyone in the same room. Uh, the chef, the director, the owner, economy, uh, the youngest, the oldest, everyone sits in the same room. And another thing which has been important to us is to, especially after the office grew, to mix people all the time, to move them around. Every year, randomly, you had to shift your seat. So it means that you had new company in this, uh, sorry about the mess, but uh, you, know, you, you are here in this environment and it's like a train station. And if you don't fit into such an environment, you cannot work here. This is four quite important places in the office. And you will find the same places in New York. Uh, it's obviously the kitchen table, which during uh, uh, outside lunch hours is meetings. And it happens simultaneously. Uh, and it goes quite quickly, especially on this video, is the coffee machine, which is another place where you discuss and tell other stories than on the meeting table. You have the office meeting in the stairs, and you have the robot machine making models 
everything at the same time. And I think this environment is also very good for developing projects. We were not aware of this in the beginning, but after some time, we were really focusing on our process. And we established a research project studying um, ID work. It means that we were, together with five other companies, focusing on when we as a group felt we were at our best. And you can think about that yourself. When are you doing the best? What are happening when you feel that this was something special? Something special happened. Why did it happen? Uh, what did we do which made this happen this time that didn't happen the last time? Um, and this was different companies. It was an oil company, it was a lawyer firm, it was a research company, it was a bank, and it was us, Snuheta. And we discovered that actually when, when you as a group feel that you have achieved something extraordinary, you are actually doing the same thing. You are referring to the same kind of experience. And these are the, what we call the creative drivers of Snuheta. And some of the companies had less drivers, others had uh, more drivers, but these 10 drivers were equal in every firm. And I think uh, when, you, when you look at them, I will not go deeply into this, but um, one of the key drivers to really feel well by uh, uh, working together in a group is laughter. And how do you liberate laughter? You know, sometimes uh, architecture, landscape architecture or design can be very serious. You know, but to have uh, an atmosphere where you actually dare to laugh and joke about your work is good to release energy. Um, and uh, this is a, a happy company most of the time. Uh, so liberating laughter is quite easy. Um, and I think uh, if you think about your own company, uh, some people laugh more than others. And they laugh louder than others. And laughter goes from one person to the other. If one laugh, it's easy for the other one to do it. Uh, and you can employ people that laugh a lot. So you can actually give this uh, driver an extra push by focusing on it. I, I, I not recommend it, but I say it's a, it's, a, it's a possibility. Another thing which has been very important to us, because we lose a lot, is to celebrate. You know, to be aware of the moments where it's time to celebrate and stop just for 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, uh, and say, congratulations, well done. It takes a minute or two. Congratulations, well done. It could be a group, it could be the whole office, it could be two people, it could be someone getting a child, it could be anything. You know? But it gives attention to something which is worthwhile thinking about. This is uh, how many? Two, four, six, eight people on the top of the mountain Snöheta, because Snöheta is also a mountain in Norway. And they are celebrating with champagne and chocolate. Uh, they are there for the first time. It's summertime. It doesn't look like it's summertime, but it's summertime in, in Norway. Uh, and they are very happy because this is an achievement. I mean, all of you could probably get up there. It's uh, five, four or five hours walk, uh, but it feels like something special and you celebrate. So it's, it's a peak moment and you have many peaks moments in your life. So you should think about celebration. As I said, you know, architecture, I mean, most creative work is 
is teamwork. And uh, for Snoyata, it's, it's been important to not have certain roles that everyone can discuss anything. If you're a landscape architect, architect, or interior architect, or young or old, your idea could be the best. You, know? you should not keep any idea away from the table because of rank, or because of experience, or because of anything. You know? And also, that a stupid idea could easily lead to a genius idea. So it's important to have the flow. I mean, this is not uh, rocket science. I would think most people think like this and work like this. But sometimes you can't forget. Here, it's the combination of the owner of the company, uh, some employees, the client. Everyone is focused on the work, working together. And uh, this is how most of the projects in Snoheta is uh, are developed, uh, together in teams in a very open uh, atmosphere and, uh, of course, focused on the project, but, uh, but together. This is not, uh, you know, master or anything like that. This is working together. And very often with the client. We bring the client into the office. We bring the client to the workshop. They make models together with us to develop projects.